76. You read the title correctly. This is going to be a no pip boy challenge in Fallout. The main tool given to you in every Fallout game, just not going to use it. This is the worst. That means I can't level up and I can't manage my precious inventory. No! However, I established quickly there is a fairly easy workaround to this by just using the favorites wheel and assigning different things to that. So we're going to double down on this challenge and I am not going to loot anything. That's right, you get a two for one. Nice. Before we get into the challenge, however, we need to make the face of Appalachia. That's right, the best Fallout character ever created. Morat Jesus. Except for this one, we're going to name him Lil D, because his name is Dave. Last thing before we venture out into the waste, we need to get that sweet loading screen so we can stare at this beautiful face every time we fast travel or load in somewhere. That is a face only a West Virginian mother can love. For the first pick, we're going to take the action point regen in Action Boy, because... AP regen is terrible at the beginning of the game. I know I could take inspirational, however, like I said, terrible AP regen, you know what I'm saying? Unlike the last one, we're not going to dilly-dally for four plus hours going the wrong direction doing the Wastelanders quest. I'm going to go directly to Flatwoods like I should have in the last video. This is about the time that I pissed off the locals and had to take them out and then realized, hey, I should probably conserve my ammo because I can't pick any up. Back to the knife only challenge for now. I did, however, run into an instant failure in the challenge that I didn't think of right away right here. So I had to make an exception to the no looting to include quest item so technically no you cannot beat the game without looting anything because in order to push through the main story you need to pick up this water testing kit and loot the dirty water from the river and the pump so here's where exception number one takes place because i need to pick up quest items Before you say anything, I'm well aware I should be conserving my ammo. It's just during the last video, if you got to the end of it, you'll know that I got wrecked by the Scorch in the airport here, and I just wasn't taking any chances. It took me about five minutes to realize that I was shooting them one too many times and wasting around every single time I took down a Scorch. However, none of this even matters due to one of the decisions I decided to make in a little bit where all my ammo ends up being gone. Whether that was a good choice or bad choice, I'll leave that up to you. The Scorch did not get the best of me this time as I blasted through them fairly easy with the 10 mil. This was not a challenge at all. However, when at the start of the game, they give you 510 10 mil rounds, of course it's gonna be easier. Don't know why I shot a dead one already, but you know what, who cares? It's not like I, can't pick up any rounds, can't loot anything, right? I did get some nice score bonuses, so that was good. At least I'm making progress in other aspects of my game file. Now that I know where I'm going through the airport, because I played through this a week ago, it was a lot easier than the first time. I already kind of memorized the layout to the airport. Although the Scorched, they are quite annoying. I'm going to stick by what I said last time. They're definitely smarter than super mutants. You cannot bob and weave and get past them. They'll just blast you in the face with their pump shotguns. I would have failed again here because I need to pick up a quest item here as well. So that exception is paying off. However, to this point, I have not picked up anything or looted anything in any capacity other than the two items by the river, the water, and the testing kit. I have not used the pit boy at this point. I haven't needed to. Like I said, that favorites wheel thing really pays off. Level five, no problem. 
it's at this point that it started to really turn around for me in this challenge run because this quest it rewards you with the Somerset special and thanks to the handy dandy favorites wheel I can just select it this way and I don't even have to use the pip boy I forgot this was even gifted to you so it's it's pretty nice additional weaponry for this challenge almost picked up something on the counter there narrowly avoided an instant failure however as you'll see in a couple of seconds i really i i overshot of what my character's abilities are because well i traveled to a camp to try to get closer to charleston for obvious reasons so i don't have to run across more of the map to get there someone decided to launch a nuke so me being me thinking it would be good for xp i decided to join in the fun however and before you get started with me yes i know i'm level five and i shouldn't be going to scorch beast however with the shared loot and and all that i'm not really screwing anything up by showing up there and i did i put in work all right i spent all of my 10 millimeter ammo shooting the scorch beast and to be honest it wasn't really worth it as you'll see I'm not sure why I expected anything more than four treasury notes from killing the Scorch Beast, but either way, we're going to fast forward a bit because getting the T-Fuse was fairly easy. Now all I needed was a sample of Pharaoh Ghoul Blood, and what a better location than the White Springs. However, I almost ruined the video at this point because I very narrowly avoided picking up that damaged holotape. Thankfully, I didn't. The video can continue as normal. Bombarded by Billy the Ghoul and his cannibal cousins. I really felt like I was out of options here because I wasn't doing much damage to them. And, you know, they're level 35 and I'm only level 7. You know, there's backup in the area. Why not use it in the form of, yep, you guessed it, the sentry bot hanging out in front of the White Springs. Except, I did not anticipate that World War III would kick off from me leading the ghouls over here. To add to the comedical effect, I could not get on the hood of the bus to save my life, and here we are. The responders joined in, and everybody just started wiping them out, which was only to my benefit, right? Use the game to your advantage. With the ghoul sample now in hand, we could put the T-Fuse in, analyze the blood sample, and, yep, hop in the symptomatic, where we begin our journey to become a fire breather this is where i'm going to end the video if this gets let's say 1000 views i will continue it if you don't think this is enough of a challenge give me something to go on and let's make it harder